Now to an update on a News 4 Jack's I-Team investigation into the long-running headaches with dilapidated septic tanks in a number of Jacksonville neighborhoods. Today, JEA's newly appointed CEO said he wishes he could finally deliver on a broken promise made in 1968 at the time of consolidation, but there's a money problem. The city agreed to improve drainage and sewer systems in older neighborhoods as it expanded the city boundaries to go all the way out at, to the beaches. Well, the I-Team has been following the story. Tarek. I don't know the details of exactly why it's off, um, but the combination of time, the economy, and the complexity of the work uh, makes it uh, harder to do. And, and the estimate was not the same as what the funding was in place for. JEA's new CEO, Jay Stowe, says the city of Jacksonville and JEA won't be able to complete the septic tank phase-out program, citing a lack of money. As for why the money is running out, he can't yet say. The program, which connects city sewer services to homes, is on course to be completed in both the Biltmore and Beverly Hills neighborhood. But city leaders say they don't have the funding to complete the project in the Christabel community. This means people here will have to stay on septic tanks for the foreseeable future. Neighbors say the septic tanks back up after hard rains in the area, creating a stench of human feces and urine. Unfortunately, the money dedicated by the city and JEA is not enough to fund all of these areas. I've asked JEA staff to work with city staff to revisit the septic tank phase out plan and determine a viable plan for moving forward. Here we are in this community, the black community. Again, we're at the bottom of the barrel again, you know, you know, they can wait and they, they're, they're not, they're, they'll, they'll make a little noise right now, but later on they'll quiet down, but we can't quiet down. We, we mean, we've got to keep pressure on them until they do what is necessary to make this this, this area viable to live in. Northside resident Yaya Kareem calls it a failure of the city of Jacksonville, who he points out considered spending more than $200 million to fund the Lot J project. That deal was eventually rejected by the city council. Kareem wants his community to be a priority. JEA's CEO Jay Stowe, who's only been in charge for eight weeks, said today he can't solve a problem that has been around for 60 years. But he said he's committed to working with the city to fulfill their promises to the people. There's a team of people that had looked at this over the last few years uh, within Public Works and JEA, uh, and we're going to get that back together to understand what we can do to address that third area that hasn't been done. And we reached out to the city of Jacksonville to see when that next discussion will take place with JEA. When we do hear about that, we'll be sure to let you know.